Welcome to Frustration Online. I'm Major Freak. I'm just going to lead you through a, a short tutorial on how to get the, the spreadsheet of EVE to cooperate with you. So you've got your window layouts and say you've got this nicely organized and it's nice and tight and you want to put it right here. So you put it right here and you go, oh, okay, that's good. What the? And it decides to do that to you. So you're like, I don't, I won't, don't, I just want it to, can you just, no, what the? Because you want to rise this up right here, right there, but it just wants to do that too. It's like, n n what? It's wanting to align with something way over here, I think. So we're just going to do that, and then we play with that. See if that's it's just maddening. Let go, and there you go. See, it was trying to align with that. So then you can just raise that up. There you go. And then you do this. See, look, it wants to align. See that little arrow? And bam. All right, all right, fine. You can align there. Be that way. There you go. And yeah, it's it's that's one of the more annoying points of the game when you're trying to fiddle with things and it's just not cooperating and you just get really frustrated uh, also pro tip don't lock your windows it's right here if you ever have problems if you lock your windows when when pinned in general settings and you lock it let's sometimes it's hard to tell locked it or not and pin give me a second I'll uh, adjust the transparency to zero to see what I mean when you lock something you'll see stuff behind it and you'll also get good you won't get blur I think blur is only when you have it at max graphics and when you get blur it'll show up right here Sorry about that. And we'll go back in, go to general, and I believe, there, see, enable blur. So you get rid of enable blur. That's how you do it. So I don't actually enjoy this too much, but for the video, hopefully it won't lag out. So yeah, um, that's how you deal with that. And you can see this, but the issue comes when you've locked it and you want to say, you've got your inventory, right? You can't drag things away, like you can't pull anything away. And the ability to put anything on top, say you've, if you've got your inventory and you've just had, you know, said this is by default. By default, it'll open over here uh, when you open inventory and it'll usually be looking like this. Uh, and you want to drag it in here, but if you've got it locked, you can't get it in there. It won't, just won't happen. Uh, and the bonus to this video, when you do unlock it, and keep things unlocked for a bit while you're playing around, and then lock it. How you get these to join up is you don't, for the, for years I've tried to place it right like okay you put it put it right there okay put it why isn't it working why I'm just trying to put this bar on top of this bar but noob care bear um and Sorry, where was I? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I always thought you had to just 
do this like if you're going to join something you have to put it right on the bar right on top of the other bar right right here and right here right but it's that's not the case at all you have to put it right below like right here right to where the settings things you gotta right under that there see right there that's where you put it to join I honestly I just figured this out last week and I've been playing the games in 2003 <laughs> There you go. See? And then and and have a nice pretty background you can see through. Of course this is Yeah, there you go. I never do blur. It's really annoying. You wanna see <laughs> what a blur. It's, yeah, so that's how you get rid of blur. That's how to join up windows, how to separate windows, and how to make windows fit the dimensions you want without playing games on you and frustrating you. Hopefully that's helped many a noob out there. Um, this, if this is one video I want people to see, it's this one. I'll probably make this my lead video on my website, on my YouTube. Thanks for watching.